Download the app from the App and Play Store. Right, so I'm Shabnam Sahi. I'm from Sunrise Radio. And um, I saw the film, uh, I think it must be about two, three weeks ago now. And it was really laugh out loud funny. Can I just say, mm, it was really you. a brilliant experience. Um, let me start with you, uh, Nida. Uh, how do you feel? Pre-release jitters or talk us through uh, the journey of Polite Society from this being a figment of your imagination to <laughs> screenplay, to casting, to shoot, and now this. Well, all the questions. <laughs> I am feeling very nervous and excited about the release. Mm. Um, you know, I wrote the first draft of the script over 10 years ago. Yeah. And, wow. Yeah, and you know, I wanted to write a film that had South Asian women doing action. You know, that was what was so exciting to me. Mm. And it's been a long journey of like finally getting to make it now and you know, bringing on all the team that I've loved to to work with on my show We Are Lady Parts and now onto the film. Mm. And, you know, the most exciting thing really has been casting it and getting to find new exciting talent, you know, such as Priya Kansara, who yes. absolutely <laughs> smashes it and has is just like an incredible collaborator. And I feel so lucky to have found you. <laughs> <laughs> Priya, we know you from Bridgerton, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was, what, what did you first think of uh, the script? What did you make of it? I mean, I have a sister, so I think mm. sister when they watch this, you know, you yes. look at it from a different yeah. Yeah. perspective completely. <laughs> so what resonated with you about the part that you played? Oh my gosh. Um, I remember reading it and being like, this is bonkers. Like, this is madness. I was laughing out loud and I was shocked whilst I was reading it. You know, mm -hmm. there's so many turns and twists within the story and it's so much fun. Nidha's writing is incredible. And I just knew I had to be a part of this story. I think particularly the sister love story that yeah. really is the red thread. It's something that connects us throughout the the entire film. It allows us to feel grounded and have heart throughout this like kind of crazy roller coaster. Yes. And um, I really felt connected to that. I felt I had seen that relationship in my life and I, I, I connected so strongly with the characters. I just knew that I had to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Can I just say, you guys got the balance between entertainment and that subtle messaging just right. That's what I felt. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, you're talking about uh, celebrating the sisterhood, of course. You're talking mm -hmm. about someone, you know, really uh, following her passion, not yeah. not giving up. Also, there's, you know, the, the overbearing Asian characters who we all identify, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So was it a conscious decision or how do you get that balance right? Yeah, you know, it's a constant process of rewriting, redrafting, kind of fine tuning the comedy with the genre um, and, you know, with that sort of darker elements, you know, I think comedy is great in sort of bringing audiences in and feeling, you know, disarming audiences and, and them falling in love with a character. And then you can kind of push up the messaging as well. You know, for me, it's entertainment first and then bringing that message because I don't ever want to be like talking down to an audience. You want them to have a great time, but also maybe take away something. And the film is about, mm. you know, women's agency, being yeah. in power of your body and exploring the dark feminine and the light feminine. Mm. So Priya, what do you think was the heart and soul of polite society? Oh, truly, I think... <laughs> The, the love story between the sisters definitely is um, the heart and soul. And I think Rhea's, like, R Rhea's character, her, her ability to just have that much self-belief, to mm. value her self-belief, but also to not care what anybody else thinks. Mm. You know, like when I was her age, I definitely didn't feel that way. Mm. You're always worried about doing what's proper or what's right or what's cool. And mm. she doesn't care if anybody else thinks she's cool. She thinks she's cool. Yes. And she recognizes that that is the most important Absolutely. thing. And so I really hope that other people can watch her and feel inspired just as I, I have. And I still continue to look up to her um, now, I think. Often, what would Rhea do in this situation? She'd probably just go for it. Mm. Like, you're it you're absolutely right because I think it comes down to not just sisterhood but empowerment, and yeah, as you exactly. say, yeah. not seeking validation mm. from anybody else. And you absolutely. know, it's an entertaining film, but I do think it's a giant leap in British Asian cinema as well. You guys have done such a good job. Thank you so well, much. Thanks, thank, you. thank you. Thank you for saying that. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Download the app from the App and Play Store.